guys, Kate here. Been away for a while, uh, a lot of stuff going on as per usual. But if you've been on Twitter or Instagram or Facebook, then you will know that Bear came home and brought some lovely gifts for us, specifically for us to do here today. So uh, it's some crazy Polish thing. You probably get a version of it here, um, but these ones are essentially desserts in a mug. Um, we have three different types of cake and another kind of, it is a kind of cake thing, but it's done slightly differently. Uh, I will show it to you guys. I'm not, I, I was going to try and say it and then I realised that publicly I would probably mess it up so I might not bother. But you've got three different types here. You guys to see, don't know if it's going to come up. So you've got chocolate, caramel and kind of vanilla choc chip. What we've also got, which is slightly different, which I've had to pre-prepare, um, is this is a cheesecake style one. Uh, I don't know, the lighting went a bit dodgy there, how well that came up. Um, on the cheesecake one, just to explain, because I'm not doing that one on screen with you guys, purely because in the instructions it says it can take three to five minutes, but it tastes best after half an hour. So I will explain the process of this one, and then I've got one over there. Uh, ready to be tested. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly run through the gist of what these things are and how to do it and then I'm going to go ahead and make them up. I've got mugs down here and stuff prepped up. Obviously I'll kind of dash away because you microwave it and then come back and we can test it together. So kind of a really rubbish explanation there actually. Uh, you might hear some clattering in the background, that's just bare, just ignore that. Um, yeah, basically it's cake in a mug. Cause you know how you get like, you've seen it on like Pinterest and stuff where it's like mug cake. So you put a bunch of ingredients together, you microwave it and you get this awesome cake. This is all pre-done for you. All you need to do is add water and microwave it. So uh, for the ones that you actually microwave, which is the ones in the purple packet, the first three that I showed you, you add 25 millilitres of cold water, which is approximately six spoons, if you're not measuring, in a mug. Then add the powder, stir it lots for about 30 seconds until it goes smooth. Microwave it for, now this is obviously where it gets a bit different because it depends on the wattage of your microwave. So it's either one minute 20 seconds for 700 watt, one minute 10 for 800, and one minute for 1000 watt. Um, and then you have to, you can only do one at a time, you can't do like a group of them together and you have to leave it for five minutes before eating and I'm going to partly assume that is because the inside will be like molten lava um, and it probably has to do with the whole baking process thing. So I'm really interested to see how these are going to uh, pan out. The cheesecake one, which is obviously slightly different, is 100 millilitres of cold milk. You then add the powder, you stir it uh, for about 20 seconds or until it starts to get thick, leave it for three to five minutes, but if you can, half an hour, after half an hour, um, they they say it tastes the best and uh, they at that point they, they recommend that you can add fruits and stuff, so like dice up cherries and things like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you that one first because it's already been done. Uh, literally, I just poured out did exactly what it said, so simple, which is quite nice. So here's hoping it tastes as, as good as, uh, as as good as it looks on the front. It looks considerably uh, nice on the front, actually. Sorry, I'm, I've now got distracted from looking at it. Uh, I don't, it's not been exactly half an hour since I did it, but seeing as I'm gonna do it first, uh, I'll, I'll have a little taste and then leave the rest of it. Maybe I'll add it in somewhere around here if there's a difference in flavours or taste or whatever texture since then. So I think it's been around 10 minutes or more, give or take, since I did it. So I'm going to pause it, dash over and get it, come back, show you it and uh, give it a taste. So just a second. Okay guys, that's us back. Um, so this is, it. I, I did it in a plastic kind of beaker type thing to make it easier for you to see because the cake one I think is going to rise. This is pretty much sat at the same amount that you put in. So this is with the milk and the powder because it's literally just a really fine powder that comes out with some stuff in it. That's 
you don't know if you can actually see if I'm in the way. It's kind of what it looks like. It reminds me a little bit of like an Angel Delight type pudding based thing, though I get glared at if I call it pudding. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to go ahead and, yeah, here we go. So I've taken it in little segments. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that very well there. Probably not. But it's it's a really weird kind of texture that I can only... Oh, I don't even know how to describe that. I think I'm just going to go ahead and have to eat some and see if I can explain the texture based on how it actually feels rather than what it looks like. Mmm. Okay. It's not like Angel Delight at all. It tastes good. Sorry, let's use that. It tastes really nice. It's got that kind of quintessential um, cherry taste, like cherry yogurt does. Um, but the texture is that kind of light cheesecake, like just obviously the mushy part, not the biscuit base. Um, kind of light cheesecake, kind of almost foamy texture, but not a heavy, dense one. So I would say that it is kind of true to form. It does say, it does do what it says for this one, at least. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do these ones. So uh, I'll do the whole mixing it up, pause it, microwave it for five minutes, come back and let you know how it goes. So I'm going to do one at a time. I'm going to start with the kind of whoop, vanilla chop chip. Um, so I've already got this all kind of, I've measured out, because you only use it, like, sorry, excuse the kitty beaker here, it was the only one that had a 25 milliliter uh, marking point on it, so you really don't use, let's see if you can see that, you really don't use a lot of water, there's not a lot in there, it's about one ounce, give or take. Um, so I'm going to chuck that in the mug first. Um, open the packet up. I'm not sure, I've not seen what these ones look like. Oh no, I'm being beaten by packaging again. No. Oh look, I left scissors here, how handy. Right, um, there we go. So I'm not entirely sure how... Okay, it literally, it's a really fine, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this without me making a mess. It's a really fine white powder and you can see the little kind of chocolate flake -like chips in there. So chuck that in. Mix it up. I'm just going to do this whilst I'm talking to you guys just to see the smooth consistency. Okay, it gets really thick actually. Uh, it doesn't stay runny obviously with, I suppose, with that lack of water. But I am interested to see how this is going to pan out. So it says till it's smooth, but it kind of goes smooth quite quickly. So I don't know how smooth they're wanting it, so I'm going to keep going with that there. Um, it smells amazing. It smells like milk biscuits which is weird seeing as i mean it's got like kind of powder i suppose it's got like powdered milk in it but you're actually making it with water so da, 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 da. oh give or take this should be enough i think so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna kind of scoop it off the sides a little bit try and put as much of it in the center as i can just to make it even um get as much as i can off the spoon as well and then I'm going to go and pop this in for a couple of minutes. And then whilst that's cooling, I'm probably going to come back and... This is on my hand now. Never mind. Oh, here we go. Tissue. No. Um, I'll come back and do the other ones and let you know a little bit about them while it's doing its cooling thing. So I shall see you guys in just a second. Okie dokie, that's the first one in. Next up, we are having caramel so I'm going to measure out my water again so just give me a second because I didn't pre-prep that there we go so that's going in there we go um, I'm not even going to try and fail on opening that packet da, 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 da. open okay this is the caramel one and it kind of looks it doesn't really smell like caramel I mean the picture on the front is maybe it's like a kind of butterscotch thing so it is kind of caramel but it looks like butterscotch but I'm just gonna add that straight in there mix it up if at some point you hear a ding that'll just be the uh, the other one ready to sit out I'm really interested to see how these are gonna look uh, in that kind of initial stage like just after it comes out and when it's ready to eat 
so this one seems to be a lot grainier than the other ones and I don't know if that's just because of what's in it or because it doesn't have the chips in it I'm not really sure Peng. Uh, so checking the time on that okay that's fine um, then I'm going to chuck this one in and then last but not least is the kind of chocolate cake one dum, dum, dum. In theory, because I'm pretty sure obviously everywhere is kind of popping up with um, various kind of Polish stores and Polish supermarkets and stuff. So in theory, if there isn't a kind of British version of this, it, there's a chance that you'll be able to find them in your kind of local store. Um, I think we have about three in our area at the moment. Uh, right, that should do that one. Yeah, it kind of looks, uh, that's kind of like what it looks like. Mm. when it first is made into this kind of like yeah, sticky thing I'm, I'm I don't know I'm I'm dubious I'm curious to see how this is gonna pan out and ugh, what a mess I'm making everywhere so I'm gonna go and get the other one and put this one in I've been keeping a track on the timer as to how long that one's been cooling for then it's the final one and then hopefully at the very end we'll be able to do a kind of taste test thing because we get through all of them. I'm kind of trying to do it in a canon type way so that uh, I don't take up too much of your time and you get to see everything as it goes. So just... Okie dokie. So I've got the first one out. I still need to leave it for uh, another couple of minutes. But this, if you can see, is what it looks like. So it's gone from that kind of sloppy thing. Again, it takes up only slightly more. So when it was uh, that kind of mushy form it only took up to about here now it's sitting up to about here my mugs are apparently massive so uh let that sit there do the final one and then hopefully we can get on with the oh too much water the taste test at the end i am interested to see how these are taste it, it smells pretty eggy on that one there um i was kind of noticing so i'm wondering how much of that kind of processed flavor is going to come through if any Okay, this is just the chocolate one. Oh, it doesn't smell like chocolate at all. Uh, I can't even describe that smell. It's kind of, it's, it's like a dark, it just looks like a normal kind of cocoa powder like you would get with the hot chocolate. It does have chocolate chips in it as well, so it's kind of like a maybe double chocolate number. Um, da, 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 da. Okay, this one's slightly difficult to get into a paste it's a lot runnier it's like almost like there was more in there so i don't know whether or not i messed up my measuring i hope not but it's gone smoother a lot faster so i don't know if that's a mistake on my part or if that's just how these ones end up i do have more of these so if i've messed up this one then i can always put it in what my mistake was ping there goes that one uh, i can put this one in almost immediately actually so it's really runny this one. I don't know if I'd be able to like I don't know if you can see there that the it's a lot more soupy in comparison to the caramel one that I showed you. Da da da, da. clean that off so I can put it on my table. Right there. Okay, okay. I'm gonna go and get the other one, let you see that, put this one in and you know, I'm not gonna you know what I'm doing, I've told you about five times. So one second. Okie dokie, this is our there so i don't know how much of that was cut off this is our caramel one here let's see if you guys can have a look there so again it's kind of doubled in size it came up to about here it's up to about here now give or take i'm just waiting on the last one to cook there and then i think i should have left it enough time to go ahead and taste test the first one uh this one obviously has been sat for a bit longer now it pretty much looks and smells the same like I say, it's got this, mm. it does, it smells and tastes kind of like cherry yogurt, like that you would get from the supermarket and stuff, but the texture is possibly one to be an acquired taste. I don't know if I could eat a whole, like, not quite bowl, but I suppose like dessert serving of that, or if it would make me kind of sickly, and I've got a, like, a really strong sweet tooth. Um... But I'm going to clean my spoon up a little bit so that I can do this taste test. And I've just got it all over my hands. So that's nice. Oh, I've made such a mess. <laughs> um, I was really excited when these were brought in. Oh, there it goes. 
when these were brought in because like I say I, I've been tempted sometimes to do a test on the recipes that you see kind of cropping up online um, for the ones where you do it yourself you know like add flour blah 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 anyway to see how they pan out I've never been quite brave enough to actually go ahead and do it because I did a microwave thing in a mug once before not a cake but something else um, possibly a brownie type number but it ended up becoming concrete on my mug and I just, I just threw the mug away. I, I soaked it for a day and it wasn't coming off and I don't know what I did, I clearly messed up. So the idea that you could have like an instant dessert within essentially five minutes uh, is kind of cool. So I'm going to go over, grab the chocolate one, see how that's panned out because I might have messed that up. Um, I'm, but I'm almost certain that I messed that up. It, it was mentioned to me uh, while I was putting it in that I possibly didn't stir it enough like because I, I just gave it a quick thing and it went smooth really quickly but I didn't do it for the 20 seconds give or take that it recommends so there's a chance that in my haste to, for, to get this done oops, sorry my haste to get this done for you guys I might have purposely kind of like you know been too quick and messed it up gonna go and grab it see what state it's in if it's not really worked out I'm sorry I'll have to let you know how it pans out uh, with the other ones that I have because I have more than one of each of these um, and I, I can let you guys know but we've got the other one so it's not a total loss so we'll see how it fares okay pleasantly surprised taking it out of the microwave um, it looks cakey not that you can really see that very well but it looks cakey it's gone from being about there and incredibly runny to being up to here so perhaps being runnier slightly better uh, purely because of, sorry I'm moving mugs here in case you're wondering, um, because it seems to make it rise better so I don't know if the other ones might be heavy or if this is just the way it is and I am looking far too much into this. Um, so I'm going to kind of recap very quickly with the cheesecake one, then we're going into vanilla chocolate chip, caramel and then ending on the kind of chocolate cake and general review type thing. Um, obviously this has been left a little bit longer, still not half an hour but certainly longer. Uh, I have to stress, I completely forgot to mention this, with the cheesecake one is you use cold milk but you do not put it in the fridge at any point, you literally just leave it out. I suppose the idea, I mean it's obviously considerably warmer than it was, it's still cool but it's warmer than it was when I first put the milk in, straight from the fridge and stuff. So perhaps it's kind of like a not quite room temperature but kind of ambient temperature type dessert thing. So I'm going to go ahead and check that out. It is slightly thicker but nothing that would make me think that when I tried it earlier it wasn't ready. So mm. same flavour. It tastes, it's one of those food things that tastes exactly like it smells which it's quite nice, you know, it's a nice smelling thing, quite sweet. The texture is slightly thicker now, so it's more cheesecakey than it was before. Before it was kind of moussey cheesecakey, now it's really cheesecakey. I assume that when I go to eat the rest of it later, um, it will be like a cherry. It's cherry as well, which I've not ever had cherry cheesecake. And I'm not a huge cheesecake fan, and I quite like that. So there's a, a nice wee kind of turn up there. Um, and I'm not having to eat another thing that I think tastes vile. So from the first one that we did, it's been about five minutes, give or take. And probably, yeah, I'd say it would be about five minutes since the first one. So I'm going to go ahead and try the, this is the vanilla chocolate chip thing. So here we have it. Uh, this is what, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see that very well. And because of the, the lighting, right, okay. Uh, this is what it looks like. So it is pretty cakey. And crumbly uh, but quite light it doesn't look oh, I'll cover myself in chocolate now it doesn't look you know like it's particularly heavy or undercooked so mushy mmm it you know how I said it uh, with the way it smells it smells like um, kind of like a kitty milk biscuit again it tastes exactly as it smells which is nice that's a really nice thing i think it's a touch dry but i think if you chucked on 
reach my limit there. Obviously, my memory is getting really small on this, so I'm going to have to try and be quick, quick. Um, if you like custard, is what I was trying to say, or ice cream, or a little bit of cream with cake. Um, maybe if you wanted to chuck a dab of frosting in there, um, I think that would really help. But it tastes really nice on its own. I'm actually really pleasantly surprised. Not that I thought it would be awful. I just about that I had to go and get rid of a bunch of stuff off the memory because my camera just went mental and decided it wasn't going to film anything that wasn't more than like two minutes long so you'll be quite juddery I'm sorry about that um I, I really need to sort this thing out so moving on to the caramel one uh it's still actually really hot so um the other one wasn't quite I mean it was warm but this is actually quite hot still um so just watch out that handle's fine but the bottom half if you like throw your spoon away and if you were to hold it like that or anything it, it's going to be quite um after a while it's really going to heat up right got my spoon back sorry let's go ahead and taste this okay this one this is how we're oh god i've got to keep ruining that light this is how we're looking uh again pretty much the exact same texture perhaps somewhat drier but Okay, doesn't taste how it smells, not in a bad way, it doesn't taste bad, it just doesn't really taste of a lot. Um, yeah, it's not bad, it's still got the nice cakey texture, it's actually nice, slightly warm, so eating it straight after the five minutes. Um, but the flavour of the caramel one isn't really a flavour of a lot. I think that's one that you really would have to add something else with and it would be like I'm having cake and insert side thing here. Um, not a disappointment, it's still quite nice, the texture's nice, it's cake and you can't ever complain about cake but it's not overly adventurous or kind of exciting. Last one to quickly get this done because I know you guys have been sat here for a really long time if you've even made it to this point so congrats thank you um is the possibly ruined uh, chocolate cake one um this will have been sitting on about five minutes just because obviously i've been trying to power through this because of the problems with my camera uh ba -ba -ba -ba, let's have a look okay i think there's a chance i have messed this one up so it's not quite got the flaky cakey um texture that the other ones had obviously i've just put my fingers in a chocolate chip so it's melted on me on the other side here if i just quickly turn this over i don't know if you'll be able to see very well it's still pretty sticky so i'm pretty sure it'll be all right to eat because the actual inside of the cake is fine like the center of the cake is fine it's just these kind of edgy bits um so i'm gonna go ahead and just take a bite and see what it tastes like ah failing at eating as well um um yeah again it's okay it's got the cakey texture it i would say it tastes like the cake that you get like you know if you buy like a swiss roll type thing uh from the supermarket uh if you were to take away that frosting in the middle like that vanilla swirl bit and you just had the cake it kind of tastes like that so without being mean it's kind of like a cheap chocolate flavor so it's like it maybe you know it, it's little, i know it's made with kind of cocoa powder type thing i know i've been told that's one of the things that's in the ingredients and it's not again it's not bad especially seeing as i don't think these are incredibly expensive i'm not sure how much they would cost here i'd have to double check maybe i'll chuck it in the comments or something um i don't think they're they're incredibly expensive so you do get what you pay for but um it's also not bad. I'm not going to say, oh, it's not worth it because, you know, you're sitting, you're watching a film or something, bang that in the microwave, you've got a snack for your film or, you know, something like that. So, review. Generally, I think these are pretty cool. The cheesecake one is very pleasant and for someone who's not a cheesecake fan at all, uh, it's really nice. I like it. The vanilla... Um, chocolate chip one is really nice tastes like milk biscuits 
The caramel one doesn't taste like caramel, but it doesn't taste bad. And it will taste nice with maybe a side of something. Or even if you're having it like a, uh, like a coffee cake type thing. Because if you had it like with a, a drink that had a flavour, like a strong flavour, I think it would be really nice. Though you'd be kind of juggling two mugs. Um, the chocolate one, I think I might have messed up a little bit. But the general gist of it is, is nice. Again, something you probably have to add something to. But overall, I think they're a bit of fun. I think they're pretty good. And I'm definitely going to actually eat them. I'm going to share these particular ones with Bear. But... Um, uh, I think there's a high chance that I, if I can find them again, I will buy them and probably do it with the Sprogs and stuff. So, sorry this has taken so long. Uh, I keep doing taste tests that involve multiple things rather than just like one item. And uh, usual, subscribe, comment, message. I want to hear from you guys. The whole uh, sharing's caring. Feel free to check it out there if you any of the videos that you've liked or this one if you want to kind of spread the word. Uh, let me know if there's anything you'd want to see, if there's anything you've found that you want to try out and let me know, as I mentioned in my kind of coffee catch up video, if there's any other types of videos. I've been away for a little while and obviously now that Bear's back I've been kind of gone for a couple of days. Um, but I'm going to try and do a kind of semi-regular, at least something to, to, to keep in touch with you guys and take you somewhere new. Uh, and if I get a chance I might try and find something to take on location somewhere. Uh, so thank you for staying with me this long if you've made it and it's been really great doing this with you guys. So I shall see you soon. Bye!